Hello, Sir Jerry. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sir Jerry. Uh, uh, fine, Tutor Kit. It's a sunny Tuesday afternoon. Yes, it is sa a sunny Isabella. and hot Tuesday afternoon. Then, dito sa amin sa Tarlac, Tutor Jerry. <laughs> Uh, 4.06, Tutor Kid. Yes, and actually, no, we will try to get as much as we can in the time that we have so far. We're like six minutes late. And so we're going to start this off, of course, by introducing uh, We Make Change Work for Women. This is the National Women's Month celebration, celebration. starting today until March 31. First, okay. Yes, so sa lahat ng mga kababaihan, tungo sa kaunlaran yung kanilang agenda. And we are supporting that as Eat the Light Tutors. So, Sir Jerry, I think it's, let's go with our shout-out na. May shout-out ka ba dyan? Yes, of course, Chitter Kid. Hello po sa aming mahal na ASDS sa Isabela, SDO Isabela, Madeline Makaling, and of course, to Sir Dante, Marcelo, our drivers in the SDO Isabela. Hello po sa inyo lahat. Hello. Hello din sa lahat ng mga taga-SDO Tarlac Province, especially to my school, Christo Ray High School sa Kapas Tarlac, headed by our principal, Sir Noel D. Palge, and of course, our head teacher, Ma'am Gina Palge. And of course, sa lahat-lahat ng nanonood ngayon, dear students, we are grateful, no, kami ni Sir Jerry, for tuning in uh, today and also noong nakaraan, creative writing, Sir Jerry, uh, and gi parang giving us opportunities to have awards, no, <laughs> sa ano, sa Ito Light, yes, Sir Jerry. Ayan. It's because of okay. them, Sir That's why uh, we oh, have oh. received our uh, recognition also. Oh, oh parang, alam mo yung Tutor Jerry, para kanino ka bumabangon, para kanino ka nag-iitulay, <laughs> para sa inyo, syempre. <laughs> yes. Ayan. So, so last week, uh, Tutor Jerry, diniscuss natin yung themes, how to analyze themes and techniques in a text. Today, we will be uh, tackling a different, a different like topic. And it will be creating samples of different literary elements based on our experiences. And to start us off, no, nakarot na challenge last time to Rogeri, no? Yes. Okay. And that is so, uh, to analyze a vignette, ayan. Yes. To Jerry? Yes, and we actually have three uh, respondents <laughs> for this week, and they are uh, not the uh, not the unusual, <laughs> not the unfamiliar faces. <laughs> It's Neslin, uh, Kate, RG, and Hazel. Tatatlo sila kasi yung iba na late na <laughs> nagsasend ng kanilang challenge of the week. Actually, Tutor yeah. Kit, we have our. Uh, Uh, Facebook page per yes, uh, section, but then talagang nahuhuli yung kanilang, yung iba sa, uh, mm -hmm. sa pagpo-post ng kanilang outputs. But hey, it's still great, no? Kasi meron tatlong na una and they are our tutees of the week. Masasipag and always maagap, no? Neslin, si Keith, RG, and Hazel. So what's gonna feature uh, their their analysis? Okay. So first, Sineslin, no? Sineslin, uh, she actually created like a creative interpretation of, of the vignettes, you know? And my favorite part is people come and go, but memories last. It's either we decide to keep those memories in our favorite gray box and put it under our bed. Uh, what a great uh, metaphor, uh, Neslin, no? Great analysis. Good job. Mm -hmm. And of course, we also have a... Uh... An output from Kate RG. Uh, sinunod niya actually, Tutor Kit, yung uh, ating <laughs> analysis last time. Yes. Ayan, it composed of uh, the figurative language, characterization. Yan. It seems like the uh, narrator is becoming a vessel of uh, memories which uh, prevented him to move forward and let fresh starts fill those vessels. Sabi niyan yeah. sa last uh, statement. And I like It's that. It's good, Tutor Kit. Yeah, It's good. really good. Mm -hmm. 
and you know like uh, the, the the narrator is like should i let go or should i fix this is there a way to fix this uh what how should i like move forward from this point no so very good keith rg always consistent and this one is from hazel uh, hazel actually did a comprehensive analysis uh based on uh first dialogue yun parang kanyang ano kanyang uh focus uh, the dialogue uh she used is i said sorry i said i wish we could go back and uh, she did, uh, she used that as a springboard to her analysis. Well done, Hazel. Very, very wise. Congrats. Yes. <laughs> and we yes. are being observed by Mam Nova, Chatter Kid. Ay, nako. <laughs> Nahiya ako bigla, Chatter Jerry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But hey, uh, dear students, we encourage you guys to submit your, uh, to uh, engage with us in our challenges. No, yes. sign naman yung 50 ano, Gcash. Pesos na Gcash. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. of course, grade tutor kit. Kasi ah. uh, they are my students sa uh, grade 12. Yes, and so <laughs> magkakaroon pa sila ng mas mataas na grade, di ba, Tutor Jerry? Shepre. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. Tutor Jerry, I think it's time for us, no? To do oh, yeah, our flash wrong, review and please do the honors for us. No, it's a flash review. Yes. So they are going to identify the elements used in analyzing nonfiction. And then, of course, again, uh, you're going to type your answers in the comment section. Yes. Number one, Chutter Kid. Ay, hello, pala kay Sir Junjun. Junjun R. Ramos is yes. an award that is ito like. Award the <laughs> Hakot Award Jan Chutter Kit <laughs> yes. Research. Hello, Sir Jun. Okay. Yeah, first, the main idea, message, or underlying meaning explored in a work of nonfiction. Ano okay. kaya yan? Last Again, week lang to, no? So yes. hopefully, alam nila to. <laughs> Kung hindi sila, ano to, Chutter Kit, hindi sila bombarded with. Other activities, malamang yes. alam nila yan. True. Well, the thing about uh, like our Italian session, uh, Tutor Jerry, is that as much as we can, we make our sessions uh, detailed, at the same time easy for them to digest and understand. Yes. And answers from uh, Neslin, Mark Allen, Hazel, Joseph Conrad are all nice. Theme. Theme. Yung bio ano parang kailan yung theme work. <laughs> teamwork. Yes. Teamwork, ano? Chitter kit. Yeah. It's theme. Yes. It's the theme. Ito yung nakuha mo. No. Pag after mo na basa yung isang story. Nice. Next uh, number, Chitter Jerry. Specific and uh, deliberate constructions of language which an author uses to convey meaning. Yeah. Dalawang subject lang naman tayo last week. Oh, dalawang, nga naman. <laughs> dalawang words lang ang inikutan natin last week. And Ito. I hope you know it. Ayan. Siguro kung totoo si Masker, 100 times natin nas, nabanggit itong mga words na ito. <laughs> Ayan. Kung totoo si Chiro Jerry, ito yung mga pinagbabawal na blank, no? Kung ano pa, kung nan, ninja ka. Oh, yes. Ninja. <laughs> yes. Ano kaya? Ano kaya yan? Wala pang sumasagot, Chitter Kid. Wala pa nga. So, Ang daming the, students yes, ng Alibadabad National High School. Wow. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in with us. So, siguro dahil hindi pa sila sumasagot, maybe you could just reveal it, Chitter Jerry. No? Sabi ni Keith RG, technique, technique. daw. Yan. Yes. Technique. Yeah, it's technique. Yeah, technique or uh, techniques. Yes. Correct. Thank you. Nestle and Keith RG, mga uh, mauhusay natin mga mag-aaral. And of course, number three natin, Chiro Jerry. Name the four techniques which uh, we used for analysis last week. Ano yung mga yes. techniques na yun? Actually, naki, naki, nakita nyo na, na kanina doon sa uh, sagot ni Keith RG sa kanyang yes. challenge of the week. <laughs> Actually, we created a chart, no? Para yeah. ma, ma feature ito. Okay. Ano kaya itong mga ito? <laughs> <laughs> and as like Chitter Jerry, no? 
uh, marami pang techniques actually, but we just decided to focus on these techniques because yes. I think they're the easiest to uh, to discuss. Pero later on sa ating mga sunod mga episodes, we will be discussing more of these techniques and more of the elements ng nonfiction. Ayan. Okay. Nako. Wala pang sumasagot, Churro Jerry. Siguro, <laughs> ano, siguro tulad Answer pa reveal. <laughs> Answer reveal na daw. Answer reveal. Ayan. Okay, Churro Jerry. Actually, Kate uh, had an answer na Chitter Kit. Characteriz- characterization, imagery, dialogue, figurative language. <laughs> Tama kaya siya, Chitter Kit? Yes, and she is correct. We discussed yes. figurative language, characterization, imagery, and dialogue last week. And uh, great job, no? Keith R.G., Christine, Charmy, Nestle. and Nestlin. Great job, guys. Okay. So now, we will not go to our topic for today. Uh, alam ko medyo nagmamadali tayo ngayon kasi we don't have enough time. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. But today, we will be discussing how to create samples of literary elements based on your experience. And that is the essence, basically, of nonfiction. You write about your own experiences. No? Okay. Tudor Jerry, ano ba yung literary elements? Yeah. So, literary elements, these are uh, the components that make up a literary work. And then aside from that, it's uh, the parts of the what of a literary work. Bakit kaya what, Chuter Kid? So, tinawag siyang what kasi alam yung parang ingredients siya, no? Kapag wala yung isa, medyo hindi ganun kasarap, no? Yes. Ito yung bumubuo kasi sa isang literary work or sa isang story, for example. Ito yung mga examples natin ng mga literary elements, Chuter Jerry. No? Uh, alam na alam nila ito. Yes, because uh, we've discussed this last time during the creative writing na diniscuss natin last sem. But then That's some right. uh, were not included, just like the point of view. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung motive, hindi natin yan na discuss to their kid. Yes. But, but hey, these are just examples, guys. No? We have character setting, exposition, plot theme, and yung sinabi ni Chudor Jerry na hindi na discuss last time, which are point of view and motives. Now, Meron man tayong tinatawag na literary techniques or in other words, literary devices. Ano naman ito, Chuter Jerry? Yes, Chuter Kit. Uh, literary techniques naman, these are devices used by the author to produce an effect. Kung isa kanina, uh, ingredients, ito naman uh, effect. Yes. So ito naman yung ginagamit parang kung ingredients yung mga elements, ito naman yung kung paano ka magluto. <laughs> Yan yung techniques. <laughs> Para Ayan. papunta tayo doon sa activity natin mamaya, Chitter Kit. And it's an exciting <laughs> one. Ah, Nakalata mo pala, Chitter Jerry. Nakalata ko. <laughs> yeah. So these are the following literary techniques that you could use in uh, drafting maybe your uh, non-fiction uh, text na uh, yun yung kinahiligan ni Chitter Kit. Uh, drafting <laughs> yes. examples sa mga non-fiction and fictions. Imagery, tone, uh, irony, forgetive language, characterization, and then our dialogue. So yes. those are the techniques. So we discussed uh, four of these uh, last week, no? And then these are just examples of other uh, techniques that we can use. Okay. Now, so just like I've said before, literary elements are the ingredients of a text, of your story, for example. And then literary techniques is the how, no? The how you execute your story, parang ganon. So literary elements yung what, what techniques yung how, parang ganon. Okay, so Chiro Jerry, uh, writing workshop. Yeah. Gagulating ngayon yung parang writing workshop. Yes. Mm-hmm. Parang para kasabay natin magsulat yung mga yung mga sejante. Yes. <laughs> Oh. It's an so exciting one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they are going to get a pen or siguro probably kung wala silang pen at the moment, then you can just uh, type in in their comment section sa okay. kanilang phone and laptops. And then uh, you're going to simply follow our instructions as we go through the lesson. So yun lang. Yes. So hopefully guys, samahan nyo kami, no? 
uh, kuha kayo ng paper at lapis or ihanda ninyo ang ang comment section or notepad ninyo dyan sa, sa uh, phone ninyo. And I hope you're right with us. Okay? Ready na? Yes, Shooter Kit. Ready na. Ano so in a sentence, yan. in one sing, uh, sentence, you're going to describe the last meal you have eaten, you ate. Okay, your yes. answers one on your uh, paper, lang, yeah. and then you're going to type it in the comment box. One sentence lang para mabilis tayo. Oh. Oh, just going to describe ano? the last meal. Mm-mm, describe <laughs> nyo lang. Uh, pwede, ray kayong diretso na agad sa comment section, di ba, Chitter Jerry? Yes. Ikaw ba, Chitter Jerry? Ano yung kinain mo kanina? <laughs> Actually, Chitter Kit, my last meal was last night because I was not able to have my breakfast and lunch. <laughs> Uh, oh it's a combination, yeah. It's a combination of parang dancing saltiness and sweetness na kaldereta. <laughs> Uy, wow. Parang ang sarap naman nun. Parang Pero kagabi pa yun. Siya, no? <laughs> Ala, dapat kumain ka. Sabi ni Joseph Conrad Bulaklak, I just had shawmai for lunch. So shawmai daw. Oo, oh, kita mo. <laughs> Diet ka ata, Joseph. Nagtitipid si Joseph. <laughs> <Shawmai> yeah. <laughs> Ayan. Yung mga iba kaya, ano kayang kinain niyo guys? Please type down ano yung last thing na nakain niyo. Hmm. Ako, Tudor Jerry, uh, the last thing I ate was a two-piece burger steak. Wow. <laughs> From McDonald's. <laughs> Actually, kinda. Yes. <laughs> so, meron pa tayo ulit. <laughs> Sabi ni Shien, she, Shien, Dominic Asheri, I just had hot dog for lunch. Hot dog wow. for lunch. Mm-hmm. Wow, pang breakfast siya na, Shien na. Pang breakfast siya. <laughs> But it's still a good a good lunch, right? Yes. Si Joseph naman, we ate that. We ate a jolly yesterday. Nag-isip pa yung iba. Yesterday. Guys, yeah. pagkain nyo lang naman. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Siguro. I think we could just Chitter read. Jerry, no? uh, yeah. We could just mm-hmm. read the other example. Yeah. Yeah. And it crackles in my mouth and melted between my teeth. I have eaten crisp. Ano yan? Crisp. Uh, B- <laughs> BTW. Ano kaya By the yun? way. Parang ano ata siya Chitter uh, Jerry crisp. <laughs> right? Rice crispy bar or chips. I'm not sure Keith. No? So... <laughs> But I like the way you describe that. No crackles in my mouth. Mm-mm. Yes. So now, while we're doing this, no, we will be reading more of your uh, answers, guys. But we would like to introduce to you to what we call descriptive imagery. So we've discussed this in creative writing, and we would just to kind of reinforce that today. So, yes. Tudor Jerry, what is descriptive imagery, anyways? So uh, descriptive imagery is the use of concrete and specific details to paint a mental picture of an experience. So with the word concrete and uh, specific and descriptive. Yes. So uh, I would like to, th- uh, to take that note. When you say concrete, it is something that you can sense. You no, know, You can see, you can hear, you can uh, taste, something that is like tangible or Uh, something that you can experience. So, and it's actually specific. You know? So for example, kung sabihin, mo na, ano, kung sabihin mo na food, that's not specific. You can be more specific by saying, for example, just like what Keith R.G. said, crispies. That's a specific kind of food and it's also concrete. Nahawakan mo siya, naralasahan mo siya. That's really good. Yes. Now, uh, aside from that, when you use descriptive imagery, Uh, the details you use should evoke the five senses to create what we call an immersive experience. So, hindi mo lang pwede sabihin na masarap siya. No? You need to describe gano'n siya kasarap, ma- maan ba siya, ma- matamis, uh, sour ba siya, mm-hmm. mapakit Actually, ba siya. Actually, Sir Kit, uh, nag-advance yung kanyang example. Totoo. <laughs> <laughs> Totoo. <laughs> <laughs> Advance. Yan. Sige. Later on, okay. makikita nyo. Yes. Chitter Jerry? So, we have the following descriptive imagery. Uh, visual, 
olfactory, gustatory, tactile, and then auditory. It refers to your senses, actually. Yes. So, medyo technical lang to Trujillo, no? pero parang ano lang siya, mata, ilong, <laughs> bibig, <laughs> kamay, at pandinig. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yan. So, Pinapadali uh, natin ang kanilang buhay. Ito, Tutor Jerry. Uh, and also, no, when you're using descriptive Im imagery, guys, uh, you need to evoke some kind of emotional response so that ma-feel din ang mga readers mo yung na-feel mo nung na-experience mo yung isang bagay. And that's the essence, actually, of creative nonfiction. Uh, to help uh, the readers experience what you have experienced. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Chiro Jerry, bigyan tayo sila siguro ng example, no? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ayan. For example, ito. Ayan. Chiro Jerry, can you help us read this? Yes. So, example from, of course, uh, a very good writer, Chiro Kit uh, Nadado. <laughs> <laughs> I had some scrambled eggs for breakfast. Yeah. Ito pala yung simple Chiro Jerry, no? Yes. Parang what yung if, hinihingi natin oh, kanina sa kanilang first activity. Tama. Yun lang, no? Yung kailangan nilang gawin. <laughs> now, kailangan natin siya i-transform -trans using descriptive images. So dapat, siguro kailangan natin gumamit ng gustatory or visual or auditory, kahit anong combination. So, ready ka na ba, Chiro Jerry? Yes! <laughs> so ito, no? Scrambled eggs. What if ito siya? Ayan. Yeah. Sige, Jerry, pwede pabasa. Na-transform na siya. The, the scrambled na siya. eggs are yellow clouds sa top of hill of steaming rice. Can you imagine? Na-imagine nyo na yung parang nagugutom na kayo pag binabasa nyo pa lang. Eh. <laughs> It Kuri. melted into my mouth a burst of basil and creaminess with a gritty hint of rock salt. Ayan. Ayan. Ang dami niyang ingredients. Oo. Oh, oh. As Parang compared social. sa una, yeah. <laughs> yes. Naging social, Chuturgit. <laughs> Pasensya na dun sa double A, no? Pero, Chiro Jerry, ngayon ba, mas na-imagine mo na kung ano yung naramdaman ko nung kinain yes. ko to? Parang mas masarap kesa dun sa unang example kanina na literal lang, literal. Mm -hmm. Ayan. So, Tinan you guys know. So what I did here is I use some kind of uh, imagery here. You image ng yellow clouds. Kasi feeling ko yung itlog ay para siyang yellow clouds to <laughs> Jerry. Yes. Tapos yung kanin ko ay bundok. <laughs> ang galing nung ang galing nung description sa ano, Chitterkid. So parang ano siya visual siya. Yun yung visual na na imagery. Ngayon naman ito to Jerry yung a burst of basil and creaminess with a gritty hint of rock salt. Alam mo yung parang kapag kinakagat mo yung namuong asin, <laughs> no? Yun naman ay taste or gustatory. Yes. Ayan. So kinumbine ko lang yung dalawa, dalawang sense, and it made a lot of difference. No? Yes. Thank you, Sir Junjun. Nag-advertise. Ina-advertise ina -advertise tayo ni Sir Junjun oh, sa iba't ibang you, SDO. Thank you, Sir Junjun. Thank you, Sir. <laughs> okay, ito. Next to Jerry. Yes. Ganito siya kasimple. I had some oatmeal and bread for breakfast. Just like your answer so while ago. Yes. Uh, sinabi, sinabi nyo lang doon kung ano yung kinain nyo, actually. Uh, pero ngayon siya Jerry kasi... Ito yung kinain ko kanina umaga naman. At medyo malungkot ako kasi ang hindi ko gusto yung kinain ko. So, ito naman, Sir Jerry. Can you, can you help us read yeah. this? So, just uh, notice the difference. Ano? The oatmeal was a thick, mad brown glob sitting on my bowl. Its bite was coarse and gritty, like chewing on hair or paper. I ate the thing one force spoonful at the time. So, parang kanina, wala siyang gana. Ngayon, nagkagana. Because of the uh, parang spices na nilagay as ingredients sa, sa description. Yes. And, and actually, Sir Jerry, no, kung titignan mo yung oatmeal, oatmeal lang siya. But, if you describe the oatmeal, like maybe take notice of its like color, 
what does it remind you of? Ano yung mga ano yung mga pumapas sa isip mo if you you look at a bowl of oatmeal? In my mind, because it's color brown, it reminded me of mud. Kaya yun yung ginamit ko imagery, and it's something <laughs> visual, no? Thick yes. mud brown glop sitting on my bowl. Now look, kinaing ko na siya. Hindi siya ganon kasarap si Jerry. Ano siya coarse? Parang yeah. parang ano siya uh, rough siya sa ano ko and gritty, like chewing on hair or paper. Kasi wala talaga siyang lasa masaya. Yeah. Parang papel lang <laughs> din siya na na scrambled chuter kite. Yeah. And so maybe you can get yeah. a hint of my emotions while I'm writing this. It's not not too happy uh, eating oatmeal, <laughs> but I have to do it because it's healthy. <laughs> Right, you, okay, so guys, that's what we do know for descriptive imagery. We basically just select maybe two, two uh, uh, senses, and then describe the experience using two or three sentences, and it would make your description a lot better. No, so Chiro Jerry, ito naman ngayon yung challenge natin sa kanila. Yes, so. Now you're going to write a better description of your meal using imagery. If you remember yung inyong uh, sagot kanina, ayan. You add spices from uh, our examples so I do through tutor kit and then let's make it happen. Tignan natin if yes. uh, you could transform it using imagery, a combination siguro ng imagery. Yes. Gusto ko Chiro Jerry yung ano yung parang Gutumin nila tayong dalawa. <laughs> yes. Yung Sa parang, kanilang description. Yeah. Yung maglalaway kami. Ayan. Oo. Oh, oh. Sige nga, guys. Can you send us your enhanced version of the meal you just had using descriptive imagery? Sige nga. You have the example kanina. <laughs> mm -mm. Wow. Nood na po. Uh, Regional Science High School. Thank Salamat you, Sir, Sir Junjun Jun Jun. Ramos. Napaka-supportive Sir Junjun. <laughs> Ayan. Uh, Tinwari, nagmamadali tayo, Chuter Kid. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully, guys, no, you are uh, you are joining us and you are writing with us. Siguro bati muna tayo, Chuter Jerry, ng mga andito ngayon. Yes, Ayan. Hello, Kai... Kay Ma'am Yurika Yumage, kaklasiko sa Mael. Wow. <laughs> and, ka, and, and also, Ma'am Noemi, uh, the uh, Orian Diang Juliano, who is my one of my best friends, and Sir Jordan Sumera. Thank you po for watching. Yes, and hello din sa lahat ng uh, Humes students sa San Mariano National High School at the same time. Uh, senior high school students from SDO Isabela. Hello po sa inyong lahat and thank you nice. for uh, being with us again. Tuesday is English Day. Yes. May sagot na si uh, Joseph, Tutor Kit. Sige, basahin natin Tutor Jerry. Sabi niya, I just ate my favorite food like ice cream, fried chicken, and french fries even when you eat restaurant like McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, but maybe uh, uh, Joseph, no, you can describe, for example, the ice cream. Yeah. Ano yung lasa niya? Ano yung flavor niya? Ano yung itsura niya? No. Yes. Man. Malamig si ba siya? Enrico, yeah. Malamig ba siya? Yung ice cream mo? Oto na yeah. na. Baka <laughs> juice na, na yun. <laughs> Okay, my goodness, you're Jerry. Five minutes, na lang. <laughs> yes, five minutes, na lang. Chatter kit. Kasi sana siguro na nasagot yung ma ano natin, ma receive natin from you guys. Si Enrico Dalupan, Chatter Jerry. Maybe you can read uh, uh, his answer. His favorite food is uh, fried fish. Fried fish. Yeah. Siguro po di mong ano, Enrico, no? Uh, you can describe the fried fish more. Ano yung, ano yung lasa niya? Yes. Does it make a sound when you take a bite? Parang ganun, no? Does it crackle in your mouth? Does it, does it like, na ano ka ba, na tinik ka ba? 
<laughs> Natinig talaga, no, Chatter Kid. Nawala true, yung Jerry, no? mga uh, learners natin na uh, ano to, maayos yung mga sagot kanya ng first <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. first impact pa ng ganyan. That's true, Chatter Jerry. But hey, uh, still guys, we, we are waiting for your uh, your yes. answers and yes, kahit isa lang. <laughs> Para awa nyo na. <laughs> Para awa nyo na. <laughs> okay. So maybe isang tip no, for, for you guys to understand this is to kind of notice the details in your food. For example, if you're eating like um, a mango, hold the mango and describe the, the texture maybe of the mango. Uh, what does it remind you? No? Uh, maybe when you take a bite of the mango, you know, what kind of flavors are in your mouth? Parang ganon. Yes. Uh, if you do that, it will allow you to kind of give us more of an experience while you're eating a mango. Kasi sabihin mo lang na, ah, kumakain ako ng manga. <laughs> Okay. I think uh, nahirapan silang mag-search sa kanilang uh, English Tagalog Dictionary to their kid. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, Chiro Jerry. So, siguro Chiro Jerry, gagawin natin is, we will make this into a challenge na lang. Yeah. No? Ganoon na lang siguro. Yes. Okay. So, we will uh, punta na tayo ngayon sa ating challenge. Okay. Ayan. Okay, Chiro Jerry. So for this week, uh, you're going to have uh, to write a vignette, a short piece of nonfiction about the given topic using uh, descriptive imagery, somewhat a uh, part or uh, concept din ng pinapasagutan namin kanina na hindi nyo nasagot. And then uh, you have to avoid cliches. Be original. Hindi natin na discuss yung cliches. Uh, oh, nga eh. Next week na lang. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to post your uh, vignette using the hashtag Itulay Nonfiction. You have the examples naman ng vignette yes. doon sa ating uh, example ng challenge of the week. Basis, mm-hmm. your basis last time. And hopefully you could uh, send it as early as this week para yes. makapili tayo ng mas maaga. It's true. Ayan, and actually, Chiro Jerry, no, yung topic nila is yung pagkain nila. Yung pinadescribe natin sa kanila. Uh, actually, Chiro Kit, may sagot si May Angela. Ay, wow. Can, can you read it for us, Chiro Jerry? <laughs> Sabi niya, lately I just ate my favorite food, which is chocolate. It's really sweet as sugar, and I feel so happy because it's so delicious. When I buy, when I've bitten, it's uh, it melt in my mouth. It melted in my mouth, and it's so yummy. Chocolate is yummy, delicious, and fresh in a precious food. Yun yung kanya. Nice. So good. Yeah. Amazing job, and this is this is great. You made us experience a little bit of <laughs> you eating chocolate. Yes. Yes. Okay. May so pa, guys, uh, kid. Pa? <laughs> Yes, it's please. Worth it. The crisp tickle my nose as I sniff the spice that was put into it. I pop it in my mouth and it crackles. It melted between oh, my mouth. Nice. That's according to Kate RG. Yeah. Great job. I love I love this. It, it's a, a little bit of olfactory, no? Tickles yes. my nose. A, a little bit of a tactile. And uh, crackles. It melted between my teeth. Great imagery. Good job, Kate yeah. RG. Yes. Sayang. Oh, Nabitin oh. tayo sa oras, Chitter Kid. Oh, nga, Chitter Jerry. <laughs> but hey, guys, we would love to leave you with this quote, which uh, is from Al Newhart. The difference between a mountain and a molehill is your perspective. So, for example, you have that experience that you think is simple, but if you put it in a grander perspective, it's actually more poignant and more impactful than you think. So that's it, guys. At natapos <laughs> natin, Chitter Kit, ang isang yes. session na naman. Thank you for tuning in, uh, for participating, for tuning in with us. Uh, again, of course, we invite you for another session next Tuesday, please. Sana matapos natin yung isang session yes. next Tuesday, Chitter Kit. That's true. At for... Uh, PM. 
Huwag niyo kalimutan yan. <laughs> yes. So, thank you guys and thank goodbye! You.